Okay, after working and reworking, got everything going. I had uh, flipped my stator, so I had to re-figure out the wiring. But uh, everything's connected, everything's working. I've got both statters, dual statters connected together. Let's go ahead and look at it run. Watch the uh, amp meter here. So you can see it pull up to, it, it almost hits two amps, but then it drops back down to running steady at one amp. And you can tell that the torque on this thing is, is really significant. And flip it on to reverse here. There it goes the other way. I think it's running really good. I'm really happy with it. Run it one more time. So, a single stator was pulling about half an amp when it was running. Double stator is pulling definitely close to one amp. 12 volts there. Take a look at it here. You can see the dual um, stator, the wiring coming out of it. I think I did a good job on organizing that wire better. Oops, yep, don't look at the ugly side. And my terminal block there and the little controller. Oh, rats, I forgot the name of that controller now. I keep calling it a $10 controller and now I know what the um, chip is. This motor here with the double stator on it is right at five centimeters. And let me see what the single stator is three and a half centimeters. So it only increases by one and a half centimeters. So that's pretty amazing doubling your power there just like that so that's how that works and again I'm real happy with it um, I think I need to rework some of the files so that everything lines up better first try instead of having to uh, finagle with shims and stuff but hey this is um, the project in action everything's been working good again the hall sensors will be placed in uh, slots inside so that they're not sticking out of the back. That That's a pain in the butt messing with that. And also, during assembly, you've got to make sure that the halls are centered with the um, coils in the stator or it won't run right. So that's that. You heard it running. Everything's working. I'm happy.